So now we're gonna move to the passenger side. Um, somebody already tried to do this, this patch right here. Um, actually, as far as the patch goes, I don't think they did a bad job. And this is a lot thicker metal, thankfully. But you can see they got no penetration whatsoever. So I'm gonna grind all this off and see what else is under there. If there's any kind of problems. And then I'm gonna go back through and probably retack everything. And we'll see how it comes out. All right, so that's what we got after we grind it. Um, it's actually not looking too bad. They actually did get some penetration. Looked like they were just welding on top of welds, on top of welds, so that's all right. It actually looks like it's got pretty good penetration. I got a couple, couple uh, tacks I need to do here, here, and here, and then we need to finish this whole bottom row that they didn't finish, but that's not, uh, it's actually not as bad as I thought. So we'll go ahead and fix all that up. Um, anywhere I think it might be weak or anything like that, we'll go ahead and tack. But that seems like really, really strong. I'm pushing on that real hard. So I think we're going to be good there. And then uh, we'll just keep on moving and then we'll tackle that fender over there. And I think we're going to be in good shape. Uh, let's see if we can get some, some of these holes welded up and that bottom part welded up. I think that's saveable. Got a few more, a few more undercut welds I just need to do right here, but it's more than saveable. It's actually coming out really, really good. Got the bottom welded up. Got a few more little tacks I gotta do in there, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Under the car looks good on this side. No real rust or nothing. So yeah, I think we can just keep on plugging along, plugging along. Now it's time to sand, get everything prepped, get it primered out, sealed up. Everything back here is looking pretty good. I did find, we did find some bad spots right here. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I think I can get those in really pretty quick, but nothing too crazy. Really, that one's the only one that's kind of went through. All righty. Back to the uh, driver's side. This is the last little, real kind of dinger we got there. Pull this fender out a little bit, which I think it needs, and then just start hammering this out by hand. I think I can get most of this just hammered out. I don't think we need to get too crazy. Um, too crazy with it overall, but I think it's gonna look good. Stiff old car right there, I'll tell you that. I think that's good enough for now. I don't want to go too crazy. Just want to be able to get down to the bare metal so we can, uh, just want to get down to some bare metal so I can get some studs welded in here. Okay. I think that'll get us started. sent that one through my teeth.
All right, I'm really sorry, buddy. My battery died. My battery died. I didn't even realize it, but I didn't even end up using a slide hammer very much. I ended up just smacking it with a hammer a lot. So here's what we got. I even kind of beat the lip back into it all by hand right there. And I uh, still got a little bit to go. You can see right there, it's just got a little, it's a little wonky right there, but I think that'll work pretty good. I was able to beat that into it pretty good. Just using a hammer and a dolly, that was it. And uh, shoot, I'm so, so mad my battery died. And I didn't even realize it. So my bad guys, I apologize, but I really want to say thank you guys for watching. We appreciated all the, all the nice comments and stuff. We're really trying to do the best we can with what we have. And we don't have much, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Everybody's like, well, you're just complaining about work. You're just complaining about your tools you don't have and stuff. I'm not. I'm just telling you that's what we have because <laughs> that's all we got, you know. Um, I'm just like anybody else, man. I work out of a small garage with small tools, and that's it, man. But we get done what we can get done, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm not complaining. This is what it is. Um, I didn't know I was going to do this full time for sure. Um, two years ago when I broke my back, I didn't know what I was going to do, um, honestly. I, that was probably the scariest moment in my life, but luckily I had a lot of pickup trucks and a lot of stuff that we were flipping and, and I just had back then and I was able to sell all that stuff off and we were able to, you know, put some money in the bank, which we still have and I'm not trying to spend it all, but I am going to acquire new tools and stuff as we go. Um, YouTube's helping us out. All you guys buying shirts and stuff really helps us out. So uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I need to explain myself. Last night, I was looking at stuff. Let me pause the music real quick. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, man. So, last night, <clears throat> we got to looking at some stuff and a repair that I did. And I just... I. I liked it and it was fine. It was definitely workable. I could have just did it and left it alone, but I changed it. So I went ahead and redid this. I know the only problem that I was having, so I have a washer right here and then I just put my strap on there and pull it because what was happening is it was, so it's fine like this, but it was twisted in just a little bit and it was twisted just a little bit it was straight and it was flush but it was just just you know it was just twisted just a little bit and i was trying to get it out trying to get it out with the washer and then i just you know i was like you know what let's just cut it out and make it a bigger piece where it goes in there because only where because right here was twisted too and here it was twisted so last night i didn't grab the camera or anything i just came in here and i was messing with it and I went inside and ate dinner and I came back out here and I was just gonna call it a day, call it good, and I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, so I just grabbed the grinder and I cut it out so I would have to do it. So we made the same thing, just a little bit longer. It's the same piece, just cutting it in the same exact way, but it's a little bigger and I'm making sure that it's nice and flush. So when that chrome goes on there, goes on there it's nice and straight there's a piece of chrome goes all the way down this car as you guys a lot of you know goes all the way around makes a c back there and comes back and it was just twisted now i probably could have got away with it i probably could have just did a little bit more bondo i mean i'm just talking just a little bit just to get that twist out of it and i just couldn't live with myself so i'm gonna weld this up real quick and then get back to sanding um we actually did <coughs> ended up just going ahead and taking off the hood Took the hood off last night so I can flip them over, get them uh, sanded and painted on the inside. Then we can put them back on and then sand and, and you know, bodywork the top. I did the, the, the trunk lid as well. I got the hood sitting out there on my 55 Chevy pickup truck. So only reason I kind of wanted to do that, normally I just leave them on and I can even paint them like that. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. So I just wanted to get a table set up somewhere where we can flip them over take a wire wheel to them, the inside of the uh, inside of the hood, or underneath the hood, I guess I should say, take a wire wheel to the inside or underneath the hood, and then get it prepped, get it painted, and then around the edges, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the actual color of the car that the car is gonna be on the deck lid as well, or on the trunk lid. So, 
that's why I went ahead and took them off. I just want to make sure that we're getting everything covered and everything sealed. Um, just another step. Um, I didn't plan on doing it, but I was like, man, this car really needs it. So it's just a little more work, a little extra work, but I think in the end, it's going to make this car so much better. So yeah, anyways, I got about another, I don't know, I'd say about another hour of welding. Um, I'm going to be a lot happier with that though. I made sure that it's not twisted. So the piece that I made wasn't twisted where I made it, the body was twisted and I made that piece to that body and it wasn't that far off and I was trying to pull it and I just couldn't get the kink just out of it. So went ahead, cut that out last night and then I took that strap with those washers hooking on there and I pulled that little bend out of it, out of the body. It's just the slightest little bend. Then I went ahead and made my piece once I knew and while I was cutting the piece in and stuff, I had Tyler come in here and hold that strap. I should have videoed it, so it's pretty good. But I had him hold that strap tight to make sure everything stayed where it was supposed to and I just tacked around it. So now I'm just gonna weld it up now. So anyways, we're kind of back to step one. <laughs> but uh, we will move forward in this video, I promise. <laughs> like to take a an 80 grit 60 grit 40 grit whatever you got um real coarse and just scratch that metal up real real good before we start applying before we start applying any body filler so just grab your 80 grit right here just grab your 80 grit i already did it a little bit getting a little ahead of myself with the camera but both ways every way you're gonna do it we're gonna have it out here then what I do is I just take some Windex or whatever, something that's gonna clean and dry really quick. And just give her a, give it a quick squirt and just wipe it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. I've always used uh, Windex and it always works great for me. So um, a lot of guys do it. I actually learned that from an old guy. He's like, just use Windex, man. It works great. So let's get it nice and clean. Then we'll go start mixing up. I'm gonna mix up some Marglass. Um, it's a, uh, it's got some fiberglass uh, hairs and resin in it. Makes it super, super strong and it's super, super, uh, it'll stick to anything. Um, hardens up really, really hard. And uh, the same old dude told me, you know, if you weld or anything, use that stuff. So let's go mix up some just around the welds and stuff like that. Start with uh, just that much right there, probably. That'll probably get get everywhere we need to get just for just really getting the welds and stuff we'll spread it thin but it'll just basically be on the welds and get my i don't have any of my body work stuff out yet go ahead and knead this up it's gonna be real thin at the top it always is i just use just a little bit that's actually probably gonna be pretty hot right there mixed up it's all the same color everywhere try to push air bubbles out of it it ain't gotta be pretty and if it's not pretty remember you can sand it you can shape it you can do anything you want to this stuff that's what it's there for but we know we're not gonna have to apply a whole lot it ain't gotta be pretty right now pretty's gonna come later <laughs> this is good good stuff right here high quality stuff it's real strong. It's actually kind of hard to sand. You don't want to be sanding a lot of this stuff just because it's that, it's that good, you know? You definitely want something that's gonna stay there and stay good and stay strong. Take care of all the little problems you got. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty right now. It doesn't have to be pretty right now. So yeah, I don't know if this step is like an absolute have to. Um, the guys that I kind of grew up around and stuff, they say it is. They say it's definitely, you should definitely do it. So I kind of take their word for it. Um, they know a lot more than I do. I'm not a professional. I've never worked in a body shop. I didn't go to school for this stuff. So 
I try to listen to the guys that really know and they turn out some good products and stuff. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm listening to my older guys, um, guys that have been around doing this stuff for a long time. And if they say, you know, you should probably do it, then I'm probably going to do it. Um, I've done it without um, this step, um, using this, uh, using without using more glass. Never had a problem, but, you know, you just, it's almost like a peace of mind thing I get after using it. I'm like, well, okay, I know it. it's good. It ain't going to crack. It ain't going to move. You know, everything's, everything's right where it's supposed to be. So that's good. I might knock down some of the little high edges, but for the most part, then we'll start putting, uh, just regular body fill on there. Uh, skim coat. There's nothing on there that's very deep. So that's good. You know, there's nothing wrong with using body fillers on eighth inch, you know? No deeper than an eighth inch. I've, I've covered some eighth inch holes before and stuff like that. You know, dents, dings that are about an eighth inch. Yeah, I would never go any deeper than that. Um, after a while, it, it probably will crack and chip or whatever. Um, but there's not a whole lot of cars out there, if really any, that are being built that, are, that aren't using some sort of body filler. I mean, that, that, honestly, I really feel that way. <laughs> so, rock. I turn the music down again. <laughs> All right, now we got us some uh, Z grip. I love this stuff. It sands good, works good. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, literally ever, I don't think. It cracks like all the rest of them, though. I mean, if you don't use it right, I just got me a big pile here. Just gonna go right up and over it. They say about 25 percent. Eh, close enough. Close enough. We're not gonna go exact, but you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it thick. So I have this uh, honey right here. This will thin that filler down really, really quick, real fast. Um, you can thin it down a lot, but right now we're not worried about making it too thin. We want to get it on there, make sure we're good to go. Keep messing it around here. Mixing it up till we don't see any more blue. See, I still got some blue there. Some blue there. I don't know. I hope you guys can see that. We got some blue in there. That's the hardener. I'm gonna make sure it's good and mixed up. Turns this really nice green color. This is a this is another thing, just like that metal piece that we made, where I say, you know, doesn't take it doesn't matter how many times it takes you to get, you know, get it perfect until you get it. So if it takes you 20 times, it takes you 20 times. As long as you know it ain't that thick, you know. I don't think this is going to take us very many times, but we're going to work it until we know it's good and then we're going to primer over it. It looks like crap at first and then you start sanding it and like I said, once you start thinning this filler down a little bit, that's when it really starts to lay nice and look good. You just got to sand it off. You're going to sand all this off. Put all this expensive stuff on there to sand it off. I've said it before in my other videos. I think it was Rory's truck. Yeah, you buy all that expensive primer and you buy all that expensive body filler, basically to sand it off, you know? And where it doesn't get sanded off, hopefully it's, uh, you know, in the in the problem area. That's, that's, that's what we're going for. Just keep going, doesn't matter how many times, doesn't matter how many times it takes you, like I said. And we're still getting down to bare metal. It's not very thick at all. You know, we got high spot here. That's what we want. We don't want to hammer the high spots down or anything like that. If it's a high spot, that means you can't sand any lower. So put some more on there everywhere else and make it to that, if that makes any sense. But I think even just for that, I think we're looking real nice and straight. It's not very fun, I'll tell you that, but it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. You know, sanding's not my favorite thing. I got stuff all over me again. All right. <laughs> 